Okay, turning now to a story from our community about some heroes who were recognized by someone they saved from cardiac arrest. It's a rare opportunity for first responders to see the patient who they once treated, and Local 5 was there. Here's Eric Richards. It was August 24th. I was doing a workout with my kids, finished it up, and then I only have two memories until three or four days later. That's because Andrew Haskins went into cardiac arrest, a man in his mid-40s in great physical shape with no pre-existing conditions. However, my father's conditions showed up. His children were working out with him at the time that he collapsed. They alerted his wife. The most routine thing in the world, and, and then they came and said that, that he had fallen over and he'd fallen asleep and he wouldn't wake up. Next, a call to 911 where the dispatcher on duty walked Dorianne through standard CPR. And they helped me start. Um, the compressions it had been, I had let my CPR lapse and needed a refresher right quick. Because of certain laws, it's very rare for first responders to get an update on the patients that they treat out in the field. Andrew, however, wanted the opportunity to say thank you to those first responders for saving his life. First of all, first thing to say is thank you. Second thing to say is I'm sorry it was so hard to get my hide up the stairs. <laughs> Medical assistance calls involving patients who are experiencing cardiac arrest are common. Professionals call it a chain of survival. About that chain of survival, it's incredibly important and it all starts with bystander CPR um, and then the advanced care that he received in the hospital. Dorianne is happy her husband of 23 years is alive and well today. Oh yeah. Yeah, the... At the time, it didn't really hit me how close we came to losing him. But there's been a lot of times since then that, that I thought about it. and I, I have no words for it besides miracle. In Menasha, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. CPR and first aid courses are available to the public at the Gold Cross Menasha location. There's more information on our website, wearegreenbait.com.